Welcome back everybody. Today I'm at the lineup review and we have Enterprise E and he is here in, what's the name of the ship? USS Proxima. The USS Proxima. I'm loving it mate. I don't know what you've done but it's sort of like, it looks like old and new nacelles. I don't know. It's what is that? for like late TOS era. Yeah. But what about the other two? What are they? As in, it's four nacelles of same design. Yeah, but what's the, what are the pods at the it's underneath? below it. Those are like two secondary hulls. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now I see what you've done. That's really quite cool. <laughs> This ship seen... actually appeared in a Star Trek game. Did it? I've never seen one like this. this Star is Trek really Legacy. Cool. Oh, Legacy. Yeah, I remember that you? game. That was a great game. That's where this ship comes from. So here we are. What was it called again? Proxima. The Proxima. It does have like, weapons and stuff like that, left, right and centre. Yeah. Including some fairly decent rapid fire missiles. Oh, well we're not here to do weapons tests, that will come in a future feature. However, I would like yeah. to take a look at at least two of your interiors. I'm just sort of cycling around the exterior There isn't the exterior much of an interior now. though, because it's designed as a battleship. Oh, uh, okay, well that's fine. We haven't got much time anyway. But there are two anyway. big ass hangar bays that you can access from the back. Okay, let's check out those hangar bays then. Yeah, when you get to the back I'll open number one. Okay. Ah. And I'll demonstrate one thing in that I really like about this ship as well. You should notice some red flashing lights. Oh, nice. Basic logic, wired up over the whole ship. So this part could also be used like a carrier, as well as a battleship. That's amazing. I mean, it may be initially for battle, but most of my ships, let's just say, they have multi-uses. That's really this cool. One's no, this one's no exception. I love the lighting on that. It's a really nice touch. <laughs> but yeah, what a unique shape. I mean, I know it's from something, but... It's not a typical design that people go for. It looks really cool. It does have jump drive in there as well. A bit oh. of a system in each one of the four main nacelles. Nice. Is there anything else you want to say about this before we move on to the next one? Because it's really tidy. Um, I love it. It's really tidy. Other than the, the wedging detail is amazing. range on the missile launches is over just about three kilometers. Not yeah. really much else I want to say. <laughs> so it's a long range missile. Uh, capability as well as jump. Yeah, if I wanted to snipe something, I could from about five and a half kilometers away. Nice. I've tested it. Yeah, and it it looks model accurate, and it's really tidy. That's the thing that gets me about this. It's didn't really take long to build it in the tidy. first place. About a week at most. It took a week. There you go. About one guys. hour a day for a week. An hour a day for a week. Look at that. That's amazing. Right, well, there it is. Say the name again for everybody. USS Proxima. The USS Proxima by Enterprise E. Well, thank you for bringing it along. No problem. And uh, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We're moving on to the next ship in the review now.